Hello everybody. This video is going to be about the car parking diesel heater, the Chinese knockoff. So it's going to be quite lengthy. So I've got lots of details for you. So stick around to the end. I purchased this thing about two and a half weeks ago. I finally set it up about a uh, two weeks ago. Uh, a temporary spot. And uh, let me just see, where's my papers? Okay, so how much fuel will you burn in an hour? Somewhere I've read or somebody did a survey on how much fuel a, a 5,000 kilowatt unit will burn. Every pump it'll pump 0 0.02 milliliters of diesel fuel. So you can calculate exactly how much fuel you're gonna burn in one hour. For example, if you set your pump or your pump is pumping at its slowest, which is about two pumps per second, we'll say. You can set it to whatever, how many pumps you want per second. But uh, when you've got it to temperature and it's just pumping, it's two, two pumps per second times 0 0.02 milliliters gives you 0 0.04 milliliters per second. And if you times that by 60 to get minutes, will give you uh, 2.4 milliliters per minute. Multiply that by 60 minutes to give you one hour, gives you 144 milliliters of fuel every hour. So if you take, let's say, a can of Coke, which is about 355, 300, 355 milliliters, 144 of diesel fuel per hour, that's less than half a can of size, less than half a can of Coca-Cola that you burn every hour at its slowest pumps per second. Now you can speed it up to five pumps per second or six pumps per second, then you would multiply uh, 0 0.02 times five pumps at times 60 times 60 will give you how much you would burn uh, burning at full speed per hour. So for example, I'm going to look this up on my phone. Uh, 0 0.02, which is the pumps per uh, every, every time it pumps, times 5 gives you 0 0.01 times 60 times 60 equals 360 milliliters of fuel every hour. So that's just the size of a pop can at full blast. That's full five pumps per second. That's on high. Uh, so anyways, for my situation, I ran it for 15 days and I still have a little bit in there. I could run it for another two, three, four hours maybe, uh, it all depends. But I never ran it full time. I, I tried to run it full time just to see how it works and what it does. Most of the time, I ran it for about two hours a day. So I'd get up in the morning, well I set the uh, timer to come on at 7.30 in the morning, burn for half an hour, and then turn off. And then in the evening it would come on again at 10 o'clock, burn for half an hour, and then go off. Because in a half an hour it heats it up to where I like it in here and then throughout the day I'll burn it a couple more times so that adds up to about two hours per day so two hours per day for 15 days was 30 hours and that's exactly how how much I estimated before I even got started it was going to be 30 hour use of the tank and that's exactly what I got and a tank cost me anywhere from it all depends on what the price of diesel is that day um, the first time I filled up my jerry can, my 10 liter jerry can to exactly 10 uh, liters, it cost me 12.50, and uh, I filled it up again now to, fi to fill up my tank, and it was $14. So 15 days, so 30 days is going to cost me um, $25, $30 to run that for a, a month. It's like a dollar a day. That's not too bad at all. Uh, that's for, as far as the burn goes. As far as 
the uh, voltage goes, the, how many amps it uses, it's anywhere from 10 amps to 12 amps to start up. And that's while it's getting warm. And that's only for about two minutes or so at the most. And then it shuts right down and, and uses like 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 amps per hour uh, after that, so that it's negligible. Um, I didn't see any uh, use of power at all. I mean, I have a Dometic fridge that plugs in and that thing uses more, way more power than this does. And it only, it cycles itself off and on too. But uh, this thing here, if you just run it a couple hours, every day like two hours a day you're not going to you're not going to use too much power at all if you run it continuously all the time it keeps its temperature in here at a constant 20 degrees or 20 whatever you set it at uh i still think it's not even when i ran it for uh what was the longest time i ran it for i think was about six hours I ran it for six hours I just let it run to see what would happen how much power that would use and it's I could hardly tell I was 12.3 when I started there's a 12.3 when I quit so so I would recommend this uh, diesel heater to anyone that is living in a in a motor home in a uh, camper in uh, any kind of small vehicle even a car only get the if you're in a car then I would get the uh, 2000 watt version as opposed to the 5000 watt which I have and I understand there's an 8000 watt version which would be for like garages or something a little bit something a little bit bigger I have mine if you saw my other videos right under my bed uh, the pump is right at the end of my bed I can live with a little noise but I had other friends come and have a look other van dwellers and they said that the noise was next to nothing all I see online of the reviews of this uh, heater is uh, an unboxing setting it up on a, on a bench and running it and see how loud it is well that's not installing it and seeing how loud it is when you install it people are all worried about how much power this thing takes how noisy it is how much fuel it burns which is understandable you want to know those facts before you go out and buy these things but that's why I have this review video as opposed to other people that have their review and they don't tell you anything about uh, how long it ran for a full uh, 10 liter tank, uh, how hot it kept whatever they're living in, and minus 5, minus 6 outside. And I've let it get down to 1 degree in here and then power it up. It took 40 minutes until it was nice and toasty again um, so I've run it through its course um, I have the, the vent coming out from underneath the bed it just blows along the floor and warms up the air so all the all the hot air doesn't always go to the top I have a high top van it doesn't go up top uh, it's along the floor and there's no cold spots in here whatsoever when it gets toasty warm it's warm everywhere and it's a nice dry heat it's not like if you sit in front of a buddy heater yes it's warm it feels like a fireplace but you can sure tell the difference if you sat in front of this and in front of a buddy heater in my opinion I call it a, a damp heat uh, a, a, with the buddy heater in front of this heater it's a nice dry heat like your furnace in your house and there is no possible way you could put your fingers or your hand in, in right in front of the vent that comes out which is about uh, three feet from the actual unit itself. You'll burn your fingers. It's that hot um, 50 60 degrees Celsius coming out of the end. I, it might even be more. I don't have a proper uh, heat gauge to tell you what the temperature is